I just finished reading The Vanishing Season by Jody Lynn Anderson, and it was not what I was expecting. Okay, so this is why it's not what I was expecting. I'm going to read you the inside flap, and then I'm going to tell you what it's about. <laughs> Girls started vanishing in the fall. And now winter's come to lay a white sheet over the horror. Door County, it seems, is swallowing the young, right into its very dirt. From beneath the house on Water Street, I've watched the danger swell. The residents know me as the noises in the house at night, the creaking on the stairs. I'm the reflection behind them in the glass, the feeling of fear in the cellar. I'm tied, it seems, to this house, this street, this town. I'm tied to Maggie and Pauline, though I don't know why. I think it's because death is coming for one of them, or both. All I know is that the present and the past are piling up, and I am here to dig. I am looking for the things that are buried. So that sounds like a ghost story. Uh, it's not. It sounds like the story is told in the perspective of a ghost. It's not. It sounds like it focuses a lot on the mysterious vanishing girls. Uh, it does not. So The Vanishing Season is about a girl named Maggie who moves to a new town and it's a small, weird little town and she meets two people who are weird and she becomes friends with them. And it's about her, um, you know, just trying to come to terms with the fact that she lives in this weird town and it's about her gaining friendships and relationships with people in the town. There's people who are going missing and dying um, and, but it's very, it's a very minor part of the story. It's just kind of like, oh, there's also people going missing. There is a ghost in it, but the ghost is not haunting anyone. It's not making creaking stairs or scary feelings in cellars or anything. It's just the ghost is just observing and the ghost only is telling the story a few times throughout the book. There are a few random pages uh, where the ghost is telling the story, but the ghost is like not a part of it at all. They're just randomly watching people, not having a part of the story at all. No one is aware that there's a ghost, nothing. That being said, I enjoyed it while I was reading it. I kind of liked the writing style. It was simple, it was easy to read, it was easy to read really quickly, but it was very calming. It just had this very calming feeling to it, like like the town was calming and the people weren't really rushing to do anything through their lives. They weren't eager to get anything done, so the story didn't feel eager. It didn't feel um, antsy. It felt like a nice, slowly paced story that you didn't need to rush through, and I liked that about it. I really, really enjoyed the way that the story was told in that form. But for most of the story, it kind of felt like the ghost was out of place. It was just, oh, the ghost is telling the story again for a page. And there, and the, it was just the ghost, instead of um, a narrator telling the reader what was happening, it was just the ghost telling the reader what was happening. And it was nothing really different. It was just, oh, the ghost is telling me now instead of the person writing the book. There was nothing, like, there wasn't really anything intriguing about it. It was just kind of weird and out of place. I thought that... As the story progressed, something was going to kind of blow up. I thought just like one of the main characters was going to get kidnapped or something and we were going to find out who the killer was and it was all going to come together and it was going to match with the ghost and it was going to be like, oh my gosh, it all makes sense. And that didn't happen. Um, I even figured out who the ghost was uh, a little bit before I think you were supposed to. <laughs> I just kind of called that and I was like, oh, so this is probably the ghost. And it just kind of, it just kind of, everything just kind of fell flat for me. It, it wasn't really like everything came together. Uh, there wasn't like, the, it was, it was just kind of meh. <laughs> so I don't really know what rating to give this book. Um, because while I was reading it, I was enjoying it. I liked the flow of the story and I liked for the most part the way that it was written. I liked the calming feeling that it gave me. I didn't like the way everything didn't really come together. And I didn't like that the synopsis was very misleading. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Three stars, two and a half stars, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> 
I also just wanted to let you guys know that I do have a reading of the first chapter of my new book, New Aura, up that you can listen to if you like. I will link it down below. Uh, it's, uh, it's not that long. It's about 13 minutes, and I would really appreciate it if you went over there and checked it out, and um, if you like it, then you can add it to your Goodreads TBR, and anticipate the release date which is hopefully March. I just went over the cover design ideas with the artist who's doing the cover and we came up with a design idea and I'm really really excited he's gonna do that after Christmas for me so it's all starting to come together and yeah that's all so check out New Aura Chapter 1 down below let me know what you think and happy reading!